What is up guys, Karotaka here, and Tatum here with another Digimon deck profile. Today we'll be going over the Jesmon deck uh, with the update from BT13. So the deck got a little bit stronger with the new line for the level 4s and level 5s. And so the uh, uh, ratios have been adjusted a bit as well as uh, the deck has been tuned to fight the current meta. So let's go right into the deck profile. Uh, for the Digimon, we're running 4 of the Goodimon. Uh, just, uh, just you get to draw one when you attack with a Digimon that has 6,000 a higher attack. So pretty good at digging through cards if you are in need of getting some draw power. All right, next let's move on to the level sixes. So we are running three of the Jessmon from the start deck. So this is the one that gives you Blitz, and the one that. Let's you um, get a security check and 3000 DP whenever you play a Digimon with an effect. So, three of those. Next, we are running two of the Jessmon X Antibody from BT10. So, this is mainly here to get piercing. And it comes pretty well with the Sistermon from uh, Sistermon CL from BT10. Uh, mainly because you'll be able to blitz with this, uh, use this or the inherit skill to play a system on. Uh, if you have, if you play CL, you'll be able to digivolve into this. So if you're if you're planning to attack into a Digimon, you can attack uh, with piercing. Uh, of course, you can't. You won't be able to use the skill to uh, attack a. Unsuspend target, but uh, your your following Digimon will be able to. So it's still not bad. But if you do want to attack with a if you do want to attack a unsuspend target, you can just if you have enough memory, you can just Digimon into this one. Uh, play this Sistermon. If you have a Sistermon on the board, you'll be able to attack unsuspend targets. So pretty strong. Uh, next, we're also running one Gankumon. This is just here to prevent yourself from getting DT DP reduced or uh, bottom decked. Um, yeah, and also, it's also a blocker. So if you need to stall for uh, a couple of attacks, you can use it to to block. It's also a target for the Jesmon GX. So yeah, we're running one Gankumon. If you don't want, if you don't like this card, you can swap this out for another level six. But I like one. Heck. Next, we're running one Jessmon GX. Uh, we don't really have space to run two, so we're running one. Uh, also, because uh, in this deck we're running Omnimon, just as another win con. If you want to take out huge chunks of opponent security, you can use this. If you want to go for game, if your opponent has uh, no security left, then Omnimon is the other target you can go into. So we have two different routes. They're both searchable, so that's why I'm running. Uh, one of each instead of uh, a full line of something. I don't usually run one offs, but in this deck, since deck space is pretty tight, uh, I, I'm running three one offs. Uh, next, for the level fives, we're running four of the new Saber Hakmon. Uh, this is the new addition we have to the deck. Uh, it's not bad. Whenever you play a Sistermon on your turn, you can Digivolve into a Jessmon from your hand. Uh, I just want card name in this hand and reduce the cost by two. So you can do some spicy plays with this and uh, do your blitz and whatnot. So, yep, running four of those. And then hair skill just lets you play a, on attack, it lets you play, the, play a um, sister mod from your hand or trash as long as this card is a roll knight, which all of our level six and above are. Next, we're running one Savior Huckmon from BT6. We're only allowed to one one, so uh, running this at one. Really wish they unrestricted this card, but uh, you know, th this deck can have a lot of ways to gain memory back, so I can see why they wouldn't unrestrict it. But I don't think it's that strong in this current meta. Uh, but yeah, we're running running at one. It also, combos really well with the rest of the line because um, if you have the level f uh, four and three. Hakamons that from new set you can pretty much uh, did you into this for one cost since you'll be able to get your uh, memory back. Uh, next we're running two of the Chimeramon. This card this card is still amazing to take games. 
uh, just have uh, play two sister mon level fours and then you'll be able to go into camera mon and do an extra attack so it's a really good card it's also really good at fetching your saber huck mon back into its uh, source so you'll still be able to uh, go into a huck mon and then unsuspend for another attack if you are able to if the, if the memory hasn't passed the turn yet all right so those are all the level fives uh, next for the level four is running four of the BT-13 uh, Saber Hakmon, uh, Bao Hakmon. Same effect as the Saber Hakmon. Whenever you play a Sister Mon, uh, you can digivolve into a Saber Hakmon uh, with two costs less. And the Herald skill, as I mentioned before, lets you get an extra memory if a Sister Mon is played. Next, we're running four of the Bao Hakamon from BT6. This lets you remove some 5k Digimon on the board, so this helps you uh, clear floodgates. If your opponent has a floodgate on the board that stops you from uh, playing Digimon with effects, you can just pop it. Or if they have uh, memory uh, cards that help you, that choke you from getting memory, you can also use this to clear out, so very good. Next, we're running two Greymon. Uh, this Greymon is just here to get you extra security check. I know it's not a Hakamon name. And if you don't want to have this inconsistency, you can definitely take it out for any other level four. But I, I quite like it. Uh, it. It just lets you go for game faster. So in, in certain situa situations, I think uh, Greymon is still a really, really good card to have in this deck. Next for the level threes, we're running uh, four Huckmon from the BT13. If you play a Sister Mon, you can Digivolve into a Bao Hakamon without paying the cost. So that's pretty good. And Inherent Skill lets you get a memory back. Uh, next, we're running Hakamon from BT6. Uh, as I mentioned before, I still think this is one of the best searchers, searchers in the game just because the, tar the range of targets it has is just so good. It lets you look at top five and then you can search for two of any Hakamon. Desmon or Sister Mons, which is the majority of the deck. Of course, you can't search for your Omnimon, but you can still search for pretty much everything else. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, you can't search for Chimera Mons, but yeah. <laughs> you can search for a, a big number of targets, is what I mean. Uh, next, we're running three of the BT7 Hakmon. Uh, this is this helps you just get more Sister Mons in your hand so that you have more options to use when, when, when you're playing your Sister Mons. Uh, on attack, once per turn, you can look at the top five cards of your deck, and then you can grab uh, Sister Mons, all, all the Sister Mons to your hand, and then put the rest at the bottom of the deck. So if you if you see more than one, then that's super, super winning. So I, I really like this card, but it is a four cost to hard cast, so we're running this at three. Also, space again is really tight, so I decided to run this at three. Uh, if you don't like this card, you can run any other uh, Hakamon, or if you want to run Floodgates, that's also okay. Next, for the Sister Mons, we're running two Sister Mon Ciel from BT10. Uh, again, this card helps you go into other other um, Royal Knights if you are blitzing already. You can play this and then go into your, your X Anybody or your any other anything that you can did you bump into you can go and you can also get one memory back for doing it so if you did you bump into your ex anybody actually you, you get one memory back since this one doesn't cost any memory to go into if you are digivolving on top of a jessmon and then we're running two of the sistermon uh, noir from bd6 so this just helps you get one memory on play and it gives your Royal Knights uh, and Hakamon's 2000 DP buff, which makes them die, don't, not crash in uh, security as, as much. But mainly, you can use this to get memory for uh, your play, uh, play extensions, so pretty good. We're also running f uh, two of the Sistermon Noir from the start deck. So this card helps you pick through your deck, look at the top three, and then you can add Hakamon. Uh, or a Royal Knight uh, to your hand, and then you trash the rest. So if you trash Sister Mons, that's fine, because you can play them back from the trash. And then this card also gives you Reboot, so it makes your... If you, if you are... If you have any blockers, 
you can use them to attack and not worry about them not being able to unspend during your opponent's turn. So, really good. Next, we're running two Sister Mom Blanc from BT6. So, on play, you get a draw one, and it's also a blocker, which is nice. Uh, next, we're also running one Sister uh, Mom Blanc from BT, uh, SD12. This one lets you ditch one and then draw two cards. Most of the time, uh, if you don't need your Gankumon, you can ditch it so that you can it can be a target for your Jasmon GX on evolution. And the, the, the decoy is nice. There's not a lot of decks that outright destroy right now, but if you need it, she can be a decoy to do so. I mean, there's still, there's still like a Gallimon Gallimont decks and Royal Knight decks, I guess. So, yeah, the decoy is nice. And next, we're running one of the Sismon Blanc Awaken from BD7. This helps you recover one, and it helps you when it dies, you can uh, fetch a uh, Sismon, Hakamon, or Jesmon back to your hand. So, if the pieces that you milled are uh, accessible again. So, overall, pretty good. Uh, I think you'll, you'll need, it, need it one though because too many of her is not, is not good. And last but not least, we're running four Teacher Student Journey. So this lets you switch through your deck. This is just like a budget, uh, cheap version, cheaper to play memory cost version of Memory Boost. Uh, let's you look at the top three cards of your deck, and then you can grab any Huckmon, Citramon, or Roll Knight, and then you trash the rest. And then the delay skill lets you Digivolve for one cost less the next time you would uh, Digivolve. So pretty good. Uh, as you can see, we're not running any memory boost in this deck just because uh, we don't really have space for it. But if you want to, you can kind of make space for it. You can either cut out some sister mons or uh, cut out some gray mons if you if you want. But I feel like this deck right now it's it's pretty consistent. There are ways to increase the consistency, of course, you know, by taking out gray mons and whatnot or adding memory boost. But I feel like right now the the balance is pretty good. It has a really good burst, but it also has a good consistency uh, it doesn't brick as hard as it used to and you can still take out large majorities of opponents uh, secret uh, in in a turn or two so I think yeah this deck is still it's still solid it's not amazing because there are more uh, decks that can do more for with more consistency right now but I feel like you know this deck is still really fun because you know Jess one is one of my favorite Royal Knights and so I gotta represent my boa. So that's pretty much it for this deck profile guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to support the channel, feel free to use the alpha links down below. But this is Karataku and I'll see you guys next time.